During the last episode, I put all these chairs and things in for the check-in, and we started looking at our baggage handling. Um, there's obviously some bits I haven't quite worked out yet. I need to figure out how this thing is going to get um, bags from this side all the way back down to here. Um, I can probably go underground for a lot of that, but <laughs> if you see where I'm lining up here, I want my baggage claim here, and there's obviously terminal foundation there already. That's not going to work too easily. So, <laughs> I've put myself in a difficult position. Connecting up from here to here, not a problem. Connecting from here to here, yeah. I may have to pick a location like, for example, here go down even further and just pop up twice to get into that so I think that's probably how we're gonna have to do this it's just not what I would call ideal so let's at least do the easy bit first shall we to there I think like so this side yeah I think it's just gonna have to go down the alternative would be push it all the way up either way I have to deal with going up or down twice so I'm gonna stick with down it's somewhat easier Um. And we may as well drop straight away, so let's get our conveyor down. And then switch back to our high-speed conveyor. And I'm going to do this in planning mode for the moment. It needs to come along to about there. And then drop it even further. Um, where do I need to be? need to be about here. Let's say that spot there. Or there. So I need to connect these up. Couldn't have done that better if I tried. Okay, um, compare down from here to. Oh, why can't I put it there? Okay, there. And where am I? <laughs> Getting lost. Too many floors. Um, okay, let's have. Conveyor up. Goes there and there. And then we can just put a little bit of wall there just to uh, hide our tricks. Um, I'm going to move that bin to there and move these to a spot where they're frankly more visible anyway because. Why would a passenger want to not go through the exit? And then, yeah, it's just an awkwardly placed um, vending machine, honestly. Oops. That wasn't quite the desired effect. Let's just fix that up. Right. <clears throat> that, assuming I've built them the right way around. Yes, that's right. Um, so that would pop up in here. And then we can have our 
Hmm. I'll figure this bit out later. This bit is fine. Um, yeah. That should work. I need to undo the damage that I built last time, so let's get our security exits back in here. Which means fixing the zoning. And... Ah, okay, I didn't do that correctly. I need to take that back further. Which means this can now relocate to somewhere entirely different. Can go over there for the moment. Um, I moved the wall by one space, I needed to move it by two. Um, and in fact, I'm going to get rid of that the cheating way. Yep. There we go. Because I don't want to wait around for the contractors to deal with that. All right, that square of wall can remain. I want to build wall through here and my security exit like so could have been worse all right um let's see let's see i still intend for this to be a staff room i decided i'm probably going to put a shop of some sort here and I may as well actually go ahead and build that. We're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. I wouldn't say it's particularly well thought out yet, but hey. <laughs> um, I think it's time we got these constructed. Bear belt goes along there. That can be switched on now, I think. Ah, yes, of course. That reminds me of several things I need to do. So let's select all six of these, if we can, and assign them ugh, to there. Did that work? Yes, excellent. All right. Um, the other thing I need to do is actually upgrade these to have jetways. Come on. Jetway. Ready. Now those will connect up here, and we can actually think about connecting all of our boarding gates to our stands. Connect to there. And so on. Yes, you can't select both types at the same time, and that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Um, somehow I've managed to spray that purple, I may as well try to fix that, because I don't know about you, but purple jetways just don't look right to me. Cool. And I paused briefly there because I was worried that if I go into here, No, that's all right. They haven't switched on yet. It's all good. Um, 
not connected to the runway. Ah, yes, of course. So, if I'm going to have large planes, I need to have large runways. And that is going to absolutely destroy my money. Um, let's do these bits first. Try again. Build that. Build that. And that. Because um, I'm pretty sure those large runways are a million bucks each. <laughs> and I have less than two million. So let's just get that much constructed first. And double check that I'm not going mad. Runway, large concrete, yeah, one mil. So I want to be a little bit more cautious about when I build that. Basically, let's speed the game up a little and get the rest of this built before we try building that. And hopefully the money will come in fast enough that it won't be a big issue. Now, for baggage claim, we will of course need seating. And something like this. And we will need the conveyor belt to go every which way. I don't want just one large loop, um, rectangle. I want something a bit more fancy here because there's going to be a lot of passengers and not a lot of room. Uh, so if I go that way, Don't like that at all. I'm probably making this way too complex, aren't I? Oh well. <laughs> um, let's think about this side. made this any less symmetrical. <laughs> okay, I'm more or less happy with that. I'll just move the um, escalator part into that space instead of having it outside. So, uh, or maybe I won't. <laughs> no, that's fine, I can. If I put it there. Um. Right. All that in. Get rid of the zone and complete it. I think that's going to work nicely. And also be 
really expensive just like the runway. Alright, back to making money. <laughs> um, we also need to think about vehicles. These don't have any vehicles right now. But at least I don't need to worry about steer cars or buses. What I do need is Dominator pushback trucks. Which would be, oops, wrong screen. I want this one. Please give me six of these. I'm not going to order anything else just yet because I've noticed traffic tends to get a bit confused if you order too many vehicles at once. Not sure if that's going to be such an issue in this airport as it is in the tutorial airport, but it's definitely a factor. Let's keep our theme. Oh, that is purple. And I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to expand this space and turn it into something a bit more interesting. The building itself doesn't need to expand, but the dead space there, I'm going to make it into pathways and stuff. So let's go with our trees and rocks and things that we don't normally use much. And it's a real shame that you can't copy and paste trees because that would speed this up a great deal. A little something like that, except not quite so off center. Nice trees, they're all palm trees because that's what this game has. Cool, and then a door. <laughs> all of that for a door. Because I want a exit directly from baggage claim out to the car park and everything. getting somewhere. I can't move those yet, that's fine. So, passengers can get in, they can go through check-in, they will be able to go through security, they will be able to get through all of that. Our dominator truck should have arrived by now. Is that not working? Try that again. A sign. Thank you. And what was our theme for this? It was size, dom, and that. So these are domestic. completely blank on requirements for planes. Baggage cars. We will need baggage cars, definitely. Um, ah, belt loaders. Yes, of course. Hmm, 
Belt loaders, belt loaders. Nope, that's under this section. Um, which way was I doing it? I think I want the... Yes, I want this style. And this. And I would like my dominated trucks to actually turn up eventually. I'm not sure where they're all hiding. They haven't turned invisible again, have they? <laughs> What's going on? Where are you? You're stuck in the middle of the road going nowhere. I beg your pardon? See, this is what I mean about ordering too many vehicles at once. It seems to get confused, and I think it's largely to do with the fact that I tend to have multiple ramps and connections to underground and everything. It should be able to find a way through without any real difficulty. But I generally find, if we watch this one, it'll get to here and not know how to get through the gate. Or it'll not even go in there. What the heck? What have I blocked? Buses. How about allow all? Where is it gone? Vanished entirely. Here we go. Um, okay, that one's invisible, that one's invisible, five of them have turned up, and one's doing crazy loops over here. I don't understand why these things happen. Uh, let's see, same sort of deal with you, you should be definitely somewhere other than Oh no, that, sorry, that's a person car. I thought it looked like a baggage, baggage car. Um, right, let's find these. And the... Yeah, gosh. Woo, what happened there? There, please. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five and six. Hopefully those can actually figure out how to get where they're going. And yep, all my new vehicles have turned invisible. I have no idea what's causing that. <laughs> um, let's get that built as well. Now, assuming our vehicles were behaving, we've got check-in, we've got pushback, we've got baggage carts, we've got belt loaders, I don't know how our fuel truck supply is going. Um, that's the avgas we're dealing with weird bugs. These are real trucks. Mm, could probably do with one or two more. Green again. I want this one. Maverick Jet A1. Let's get two more. Um, don't need those. Don't need those. Catering and cleaning is something we haven't worked on yet. That will be coming 
soonish, I think. Uh, yep, I think that's everything we need. Definitely making progress. Do I have enough security staff? No, I don't. Sorry, I said security. Thank you. Uh, how many more do I actually need? <laughs> Probably quite a few. How many of these take? That's five per. I've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I need at least another five. <laughs> And that's not giving them time to take breaks and things, so definitely let's uh, make life simple on ourselves. Switch that one off. That should enable both of those and give us time to organize the rest. Um, right. This is not for everyone. This is for passenger service agents, security officers, janitors, service techs. And that is all. This is for just about everyone. And I may want to think about having a staff room I was going to say up here, but actually along here somewhere. Um, and it could be long and skinny. So, do, 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 do. zoning, staff room, ugh. Like this, please. Um, walls. Zoning off so I can see what I'm doing, please. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to get too carried away with that because I think the baggage carts are going to do weird things around here. So we want to keep an eye on that before we get carried away. Ramp agents only, please. Now, um, the next question will be how do... Ooh, no, the next question will be dealing with an economic crisis. Downturn in passengers and air tra traffic in the future. That I can probably deal with because I literally don't have to do anything. Um, it's probably also worth having more of these actually taking flights. Not that there's going to be as many flights for a while. How's our budget going? No, we still need more money. That's fair. Um, let's see if we can get away with not having so many of these switched on. At least to begin with. And I shall move that seat now to somewhere appropriate. Uh, in fact, in the massive staff room. Um, yeah, this is annoying me. I'm sure it's annoying some of you as well. Let's fix it. <laughs> this is not lined up. Much better. <laughs> Let's get one of our runways built. No, not bulldozed. Built. Uh, like so. And let's not go crazy because we're going to run out of money if we do any more. I will require those bits. 
and I think this one's the one that's going to get used first. So I will switch off the others so they're not causing me any drama. Ah uh, yes, it might help if we actually draw in the baggage claim area. Because then I can connect it to something. Cannot find a path to the connected baggage bay. I beg to differ? Looks connected to me. Okay, I think it sorted it out. Nope. Uh, why? Nope, that's already built. I think. It looks different, but I think it's already built. This all looks built to me. This all looks built. I really don't understand the problem. Now, you might argue that this hasn't been built, but I'm not sure if it has to. Let's do it just to be sure. Did I construct this the wrong way around or something? Looks right to me. Yep, that's coming out that way. Maybe the arrows are the wrong way somewhere. I really don't know what the problem is. I might have to deal with that between episodes. Well, I was hoping we'd get to launch a large plane today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I will investigate that weird problem and get back to you. Bye-bye.